What's going on, everybody? It's Brian B. Childs, and it's time for a quick daddy moment. Today's video is brought to you by Circle of Parents. You can get more information about them at www.circleofparents.org. Today, we're going to be talking about defying defiance. When it comes to openly defiant children, uh, there are two main reasons why this happens. Uh, one, medium tells them that they should be, right? So media is telling our kids that they should be defiant. And then two, parents are telling them that they can be. Let's talk about the first one, uh, media. Now, when it comes to media, uh, television, movies, things of that nature, it's our job as parents to make sure that we are teaching our children uh, the difference between what's real, real life, and what's fake. So dads, when you come home from work, take the time to sit down and see what your kids are watching. Point out what's real and what's fake. When you see something that you know is only acceptable in television, point it out and let them know what would really happen in real life if they tried uh, those things that they see on the television screen. Along the same lines, right? Go ahead on and make sure that you be selective about what it is that you allow your children to see and to read. You have to take an active role in what is being input into your child. This means that sometimes you're going to have to say no. There are going to be some things that they just can't watch. The last thing that I'll say about media is make sure that you, the parent, make your own decisions about what's right and what's wrong. Hey, hey, uh, say, ask daddy, what do you mean by that? I'm glad you asked. Don't let yourself be misled by uh, advertising or by political rhetoric. In layman's terms, think for yourself. None of us want our children just to be followers and just roll along with the flow. We want them to stand up for what's right. We have to be examples for them, and we have to do the same. Now, for the second main reason uh, that openly defiant children feel like they can be openly defiant. It's you, mom, dad, it's you. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that us as parents make is uh, we make unenforceable demands. Now, the good thing is there's a very simple fix for this. Uh, one, think about what you are saying before you say it. And then two, don't say anything that you're not willing to enforce. Another mistake that we make is we talk too much. Too much talk, too little action. If you keep repeating your request to your child or repeating your demand or your command or whatever you want to call it right but if you keep repeating it over and over and over again and your child's not doing anything and you haven't done any corrective action then they quickly learn that they don't have to listen to you you talk too much give them a chance right tell them what it is maybe give them one chance then comes the consequence third problem lack of household rules if you don't have clear cut rules in your house then you're opening yourself up for defiance. Because again, it, it, the rule has never been defined. Get you some rules, man. To sum this all up, when it comes to media, know what your children are watching, be selective about what they're watching, teach them the difference between what's real and what's fake, and lastly, you be the example. And then when it comes to us as parents, start thinking about what you say before you say it. And only, only, Say you're going to do something if you truly mean it and you're going to follow through. And stop talking so much. Let's talk more action. And then lastly, get you some rules, man. Set some household rules. This has been Brian B. Childs with Ask a Daddy. Thank you for sharing this quick daddy moment with me. And remember, being a daddy ain't easy, but it is awesome.